releasing the third quarter GDP figures uh, today. The economy expanded during uh, Q1 and Q2. Now, when I say expanded, Annabel Bishop, chief economist uh, at the investment uh, group joining us this morning. It, when we say expanded, it wasn't exactly blowing out the lights, but it wasn't bad news. What's your crystal ball saying for today, Annabel? Morning. Hi, yes, hello. And I'm at Investec, <laughs> not oh, Investment sorry. Group. <laughs> sorry, Investec. Very good. It's okay. Yes, Investec. So I think, you know, we, we are concerned that the economy stalled. Mm. And what that really means is it's, you know, activities really come to a halt. So we're not expecting to see the economy grow over the previous quarter. And of course, that's a massive worry. You know, we found ourselves in a situation where, of course, we've had excessive load shedding from Eskom. And of course, you know, congestion at the ports coming through from Transnet. But we've also seen some of the data already come through for different sectors of the economy. And if we look at industrial production, which is mining, manufacturing and electricity production, that actually already contracted by 1.2 percent in the third quarter. So that actually shows lower activity than in the second quarter just for those three sectors. Yeah, I mean, one of the saving graces of this year, if I recall correctly, Annabel, uh, is the agriculture sector, which oddly enough was being hammered by the ongoing blackouts. But that was one of the earlier saving graces of the year. What's your expectation there? Well, you see, the, the concern about agriculture only accounts for 3.2% of GDP. So mm. it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little sector. It makes a very small contribution. That said, sometimes agriculture on its own can see very large growth rates or very large contractions. And, of course, let's remember it's very affected by the weather. 